you're spending a week with a 700 plus horsepower three row SUV, the Durango Hellcat. Cold start. Some overnight guests, unexpectedly. Oh my God! JR Garage. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. I really and say that. hi to Sasha back there. Oh, I got Sasha too. Yep. We are driving that Tesla across the country, and we had to stop by Chicago. Thank course. you for stopping by. That's the opposite of a Durango Hellcat. There's a yeah. model Model X Durango Hellcat. We've got the different SRT drive modes pulled up on the center screen. Auto right now, which includes an Eco mode, which A for an effort. I guess they're trying. Let's go into Sport. Everything turns red and orange. And just hear that hint of a supercharger whine. Ah, Hellcats, they are definitely just a special thing. Oof. Yeah, okay, that's fast. What are we averaging MPG? Oh, it's not showing. Oh, 14 MPG. That actually sounds about right. I can probably make that go lower. We also have red seatbelts. About two years ago, I did spend an entire week living with the Durango SRT Hellcat, but it was in the middle of winter. So now we are revisiting it a couple years later in the summer when it's nice and warm and with some more context, right? There's a lot of other really fast SUVs and trucks that have come out. I just spent a week with a Raptor R with a supercharged 5.2 liter V8, uh, the Escalade V we spent some time with. So in the world of 700 plus horsepower giant vehicles, how does the latest SRT Durango still feel? The uh, Hellcat, because I believe there's still a regular one too. Let's do launch control. We press the launch button, apply brake pressure all the way down, You know the Durango Hellcat qualifies as an electric vehicle. Just kidding. This thing has a supercharged V8. Just out of parking at work, so I took the EV parking spot. Remote started. The Durango are heading off to the airport with a flight to catch. AC is already running. We have the red Hellcat key. SRT, the little Hellcat logo there. See, I made the fuel economy get better. 13.9 mpg. It's going in the right direction. Down just in case that wasn't clear. We just had a quick two day trip out of town to Nashville, back in Chicago now. Landed at the airport, picking up the Hellcat from the parking lot. Start with a cold start. And yeah, we're gonna spend a couple of quality days with the Durango Hellcat before we leave town again. This Destroyer Gray over the red interior is a really cool combo. So the first time I had a Durango Hellcat for a week, it was in the middle of winter. So it was cold, wet outside, and I was like, I'm gonna do launch control. So traction control was off, and off the line, I just floored it with launch control, the brake, and I spun all four wheels. And I was like, whoa, okay, that was fun, but obviously that wasn't fast. And then I looked down at the, that little timer there and it said zero to 60 in 2.2 seconds. It must have been based off of like wheel speed or something, and that hit 60 in 2.2 seconds, but it stored, and I was like, what? <laughs> that's obviously not a remotely reasonable number for a three row SUV. Like that's like what a supercar, hypercar would do. But it was just funny, funny little story. Listen to the one of that supercharger. <laughs> that's just at like half throttle. Hellcats definitely have one of the best supercharger noises. Pretty quick downshifts. Oh, my tacos are running away. Ah. It is a wet and rainy weekend. What was that noise? I have no idea what that noise is supposed to be. Okay. I noticed one thing that was really annoying. This has some sort of like traffic camera alert that really, really bugs me. So I gotta figure out how to turn that off. Performance pages. That's fun. Dino. Cool, yep, it's all, they always do a good job incorporating some of these fun things. Oh, I can show all the temperatures. Let everything warm up. We're gonna get some uh, groceries and make breakfast. You can see the forged carbon a bit better here. I do a proper interior tour. <laughs> Even 
Even with all-wheel drive, traction not found in this kind of rain. <laughs> Just finished a nice Sunday workout, so let's take a nice exterior walk around of the Durango Hellcat. I love this gray. It's called Destroyer Gray, which is just a aggressive name for a color. Dodge is very good at naming their paint schemes. It's actually relatively subtle. We have the SRT Hellcat logo up front in the grill, a more aggressive vented hood here, and then the big Hellcat logos on the side, but it's not like crazy wide, doesn't have a ton of ridiculous touches to it. Subtle in that it's a massive three row SUV that has 700 horsepower, but if you look at a regular Durango and SRT, it's not over the top. We do have red Brembo brake calipers there. The Hellcat logo does stand out. They should have done a red eye one of these. That would have been cool. And coming around to the back, pretty standard Durango back here, SRT Hellcat. It does have the all-wheel drive badge there. Everything is blacked out. And when you have one of these running, the tail lights, you see that? It reminds me of like a Stormtrooper helmet. We have the split exhaust back here. And that's pretty much the exterior of the Durango Hellcat, what kind of tires? We got 295, 20 inch, and I believe they should be the same up front. Yep, 295, 20 inch Pirelli P0s. And uh, it's definitely a lot of fun to launch this thing. And then before we go, let's pop the hood, take a look at that Hellcat V8. Let's release, there it is. Hellcat everything, that is their formula. Sadly, I don't think we're getting a Hellcat Pacifica. Where's the thingy? There it is. Woohoo! Hemi, supercharged Hemi, little SRT Hellcat logo, that's a big supercharger. Finishing up a Monday at work. Tomorrow is July 4th, so we have it off, and it's so appropriate to have this Durango Hellcat. It's such an American SUV. Take the, the big engine, the Hellcat V8, and throw it in the biggest SUV they have, the Durango. And it's such a fun combination. I think this held the record at one point for the fastest three-row SUV out there. There are smaller SUVs that are quicker, faster, right? Uh, but this is just so ridiculous. You just get that V8 rumble always present, and then you get that supercharger whine. Is it the sharpest, best handling SUV? Absolutely not. You go something smaller like an X5M or maybe a Cayenne of some sort. Those are definitely gonna drive much better, but this thing is just so ridiculous. The Escalade V definitely has a much more luxurious interior, more premium, but it's also a way higher price point. This Durango Hellcat is just such a monster. <laughs> yeah, your Tesla Plaid doesn't do that. Like, obviously, the Model X is very, very fast, but it doesn't do that. And that puts a big grin on your face. And also, this is very versatile because it has all-wheel drive, right? I spent time in the winter with a Durango Hellcat and it was great, it was hilarious. But also, even in warm, dry conditions, I think this is, in real-world situations, faster than a Challenger Red Eye or a Charger Red Eye because those are pure rear-wheel drive. And I spent a week with a Charger Red Eye and it was probably the slowest 800 horsepower car out there because all it does is spin the tires. It is hilariously fun, right? It makes the noises, it's a drama, all the fun, but it's not actually that quick. But this and like a Jeep Trackhawk, it puts the power down and you get that ridiculous Hellcat experience with a lot of space. It's bigger, but all-wheel drive is is good in these applications. It's just so much fun. This is thirsty though. I need to fill this up with gas. And I think gas stations are closed tomorrow, so I'll try to find time for that today. This is still very comfortable. I've got my cooled seats on, good workout in. I'm gonna go get some, I think, tacos for dinner. So continuing with the Durango Hellcat. I've actually been relatively responsible. You see that average MPG is at 14.4, but we are under a quarter tank, so we're gonna fill up. Quick stop at Costco. Of course, premium, 4.58. It just won't stop. Nobody said Hellcats were cheap to run. Hellcats have one of the most pronounced supercharger whines from the factory. Like a GT500 Raptor R does not sound like that. Last day with the Durango Hellcat. These black wheels do show a lot of brake dust. They are pretty filthy. It is a big heavy vehicle with performance brakes, so it does look like it does generate quite a lot of brake dust. Look at those red calipers. So it's a 23 Durango SRT Hellcat Black all-wheel drive because it has this black package which darkens the badges, the exhaust tips, different wheels, 
Base price is 91185 As option, we're at 106665 with the big one being this premium package at just under $11,000, which brings a bunch of premium features, uh, like the upgraded sound system, the 19 speaker, 825 watt Harman Kardon, some of the, the leather, I think, the red seat belt, some tech features. Destroyer Gray is 395, and this already has a lot as standard, but $106,000 is not cheap, but this also does have over 700 horsepower. It, you need a budget for gas. 13 combined, 12 city, 17 highway. We've been doing about 14, so I'm actually being responsible. We're beating the average fuel economy at 14. Smiles per gallon. All right. Just got a good workout in. Tomorrow I'm leaving for the UK, so this is my last day with the Durango Hellcat. Again, I've spent a week living with this and also did a full review back in the winter. Now a couple years later, updated thoughts on the Hellcat in the summer. As a Durango, it's practical, it's big, it's spacious. With the Hellcat, it's that hilarious fun. The noise, the power, the ridiculousness. It's, it's thirsty, but who cares because it sounds awesome. It's got launch control. The tech does feel a little bit more on the dated side, especially compared to some of the newer stuff. I like the Uconnect screen, but the cluster with a smaller digital screen and analog gauges, not a complaint. It's just not as updated compared to the brand new generation of vehicles. It is hugely practical and spacious. I mean, big three row SUV. Haven't had friends in it this week, just people in the front seats but captain's chair is back there there is a third row you can fold it down for more cargo space it is very large uh so great in that regard there are some pretty cool touches that i like too so we've got creature comforts here with the heated cooled seats heated steering wheel running cooled seats and then we have the srt toggle here which pulls up the srt drive modes which are pretty cool and go to sport mode can i oh, launch control uh, disable that race options pretty sure i can change yep i can change the RPM of launch control, shift light indicator. Oh, that's pretty cool. Go back to home. We have wireless CarPlay now, which is definitely awesome. Wireless charging pad. I like that down there. So set my phone right there. A little blue light will come on when it starts charging. And then a little storage there. Put my sunglasses, cup holders. Although, what is this little tiny thing? I put my key, I put the key to the car there once, but that's not super practical. And a T handle transmission selector here. Backup camera is decent. It's not super high quality. It's pretty pixelated. I think it's just the age of the vehicle. We have paddle shifters here. They're fixed on the steering wheel. They're like the little half ones because below it we have the buttons for changing your track and volume. That's where uh, Mopar family vehicles go. SRT right there. Nice beefy steering wheel. And I do like the, the red contrast. The red interior with the red seat belts. You got SRT there. And forged carbon trim. I don't love forged carbon, it's not my favorite, it just looks like dirty black plastic to me, but it's cool, some people like it. Armored Garden sound system. With that, let's head home, and we'll wrap up this video. All right, that wraps up my week living with the Dodge Durango Hellcat. This platform does feel a little bit dated, but no matter what, you'll always have fun with a Hellcat. You just have a big grin on your face because that's what Hellcats do. In this platform, it is still plenty of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you also check out the previous video I did and the review in the winter when this first came out. Thanks for watching.